What's going on everybody? It's another pair. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about to be the most lit, the most lit Q&A you have ever seen. But I'm probably going to split this up into two parts because man, I y'all showed me a lot of love, bro. I got like almost 60 questions. So in, instead of making it too long, I'm going to just make it a two part. So if your question don't get answered in this video, it will get answered in the next video. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, let's, let's, let, let me shut up and let me just get right into this Q&A. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I know y'all, I know y'all ready for me to answer these questions, bro. Y'all send me some good stuff too. And I really, 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 really appreciate it. So I'm going to just shut up. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into these questions. You feel what I'm saying? All right. First question. What was your motivation to start YouTube? My motivation to start YouTube. Let's see. Okay. I consider myself a professional YouTube watcher. Like I've been watching YouTube forever. I'm talking about everything. Shoes, motorcycle, basketball, like cartoon stuff. Like I'm a professional YouTube watcher. How to do is I learn how to do stuff on YouTube and all that. I just learn YouTube. Like I'm a YouTube fanatic. Like I don't even need cable. All I need is YouTube. What, what, what was the question? My motivation for YouTube was just like, man, like I love it so much. I want to start something. Like I want to start me a YouTube channel. And being that I love shoes and basketball so much, I was like, why not just start me a basketball sneaker YouTube? You feel what I'm saying? Like I thought that was gonna be dope, and it's and it's helping people out at the same time, you know. So I can I can I can show the world about personality, do my thug fizzle, talk about shoes, help people out, and just have fun all at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? But I, you know, I got plans in the future for like more content, like adding different stuff that's not on on my channel that like a lot of sneaker YouTubers don't do. Like it's it's some stuff that I, you know I gotta get situated first, and hopefully that can come into the channel. It's just like I'm just bringing everything all together. So. I just did a whole bunch of talking. That didn't really answer your question. My motivation for YouTube was just helping you guys out. Question number two. What got you into sneakers and what was your first pair of sneakers that you thought were super dope? What got me into sneakers was, I have to say, probably in a second grade, like my uncle would just buy me shoes all the time, but I, I really didn't care until I reached like second grade. And I remember I had this friend that always had the Jordans. He had like every pair of Jordan that came out. He had that and I was like, man, those are really nice. Like, why can't I do something like that? And then that's what made me, like, I, I, I would go home and I would ask my mom and my and my uncles and all that, because I never had a dad. I would ask my mom and my uncles, like, hey, yo, can I get these shoes or whatever or whatnot? You feel what I'm saying? And, and then, you know, they started to get them. But my first pair of shoes that I thought that I had, I can just remember, I remember running to school that day just to show my friend my shoes. And it was the, it was the black and white Jordan 12s, like the black with the white, the majority black and then the white, with Jordan 12s. I was just like, man. That was like my first pair that I, that I can remember from the top of my head. And then from there, it just went on. I was like a shoe fanatic. I love shoes. You know what I'm saying? So, what got me into sneakers, I would have to say my friend at the time in second grade. And the, I, I would have to go with the pair that I got in second grade that I can remember was the black and white Jordan 12. So, that got to be the first pair of shoes that I thought was super dope. Question number three. Would you suck? Hold on. Bro, <laughs> Bruh! All right, all right. Would you suck blank for your ultimate sneaker grail? Look here, bro. Ain't nothing in this world worth me going to that level, famo. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing in this world worth me stooping down that low to perform some oral on anybody for anything, period. And being that my grail shoe was only probably about maybe $300, I would just rather pay out that $300 than to get on my hands and knees and perform some, uh, oh, oh, you know. Boy, why would you even come, why would that even come out your mind? Would you suck some dick for your ultimate? Bruh, really, bruh? Really, bruh? Would you suck? Really? No, I'm not sucking anything for anything. Whether it's shoes, cars, money, whatever. I'm not sucking anything, bruh, unless it's a popsicle. You feel what I'm saying? So if that answers your question, no, I'm not sucking anything for no kind of shoe. I don't care what the shoe is. You're not, I'm not sucking nothing. You feel me? Question number what? I'm just finna quit number of questions. I don't even know where I'm on. Next question. Let me see. 
who consistently puts out best performance shoes? That's a really good question. Consistently puts out performance. Man, that is, that is, that is, that is. Consistently put out performance. Okay. Consistently putting out good performers. Y'all probably gonna be like, man, he iron that, whatever. But you know, this is just my opinion. Consistently putting out good performance shoes, I will have to go with Under Armour. Just that simple. I think Under Armour consistently puts out like the best performers. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Nike have a good stretch and then they have fall off and they have another good stretch, fall off and then they fall off for a while, then they come back. And then Adidas have like a good stretch and then they kind of fall off and then they come back and they fall off. Under Armour consistently puts out the best performers. In my opinion, one on one question mark. Bro, I will play you one on one anytime, anywhere, any day. Bring it. Cause you don't want it with me, boy. I'm a one on one king. I don't play. You can get it, homie. One on one, you got it. Just let me know when, where, how, what, who. That's all I'm saying, bro. One on one, you got it, Femo. Let's get it. What are your hobbies? What is your dream job? Is LeVar better than MJ? My hobbies right, my hobbies right now is YouTube, PlayStation, shoes, basketball, motorcycles, and chilling. What is my dream job? Ooh, that is a really good question. My dream job, hmm, my dream job would professional YouTuber, a full-time YouTuber so I can just sit and make videos all day long. Like, I guess that would be my dream job, right? You know what I'm saying? Just being that full-time YouTuber would be awesome. But, or an NBA player, or NBA coach, or an actor. I think, I'm, I, think I can act a little. But my, but my main dream job would be a full-time YouTuber, just so I can keep putting out that content for you guys. Do you feel me? Oh. All righty. Is LeVar better than MJ? Come on, bro. LeVar is not better than MJ, bro. I don't think LeVar was better than the worst player at the time in the NBA. You feel me? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know. But then again, I don't know. I've never seen LeVar in his prime. You feel what I'm saying? But from what they say in college, he only averaged two points a game. And sometimes averaging two points a game really don't mean you're that bad. It just means you're, you're probably either doing your part or you can't score, you know what I'm saying? So you, we never know why he averaged two points a game, but I don't know. Can can LeVar beat MJ? I don't know. Let's just, let's just let's just leave it there. I don't know. My favorite sneaker. My favorite sneaker of all time is probably the Jordan 20 Stealth. I love that shoe for some reason. It's just like I don't know. It just I just love it with a whole, with a, my whole life, bro. I love that shoe. And what's the crazy part about it is I don't have it. Like that is my grail. Like I be wanting to, I, I look at it every day. It's easy to get up my hands on. Like I, if I wanted it today, I can go get it. But I just like, man, every time I think about buying it, I just be like, nah, I gotta get, I, it's, it's too much. I mean, I don't, I don't really like paying like $300 for no shoes. You feel me? Eventually I'm gonna get it though. But yes, the Jordan 20 Stealth is my favorite shoe and my grail and I will be getting it. I promise. Would you rather get dunked on or cross badly? Dunked on or cross badly? I'd probably rather just get dunked on. Ooh, no. Ooh. Yeah, I'd rather just get cross, I mean, dunked on. Because if you get cross badly, bro, somebody that means somebody literally is out there toying you. They like, whoop, whoop, boop, and you like fall because they made you fall. You see what I'm saying? Dunked on is kind of like, that's my choice. Like, okay, I'm about to just go and try to block this shot. You know, that's my choice that to get dunked on. So I would rather get dunked on than cross badly. Forget getting cross, bro, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry to say, it's just embarrassing because somebody made you fall because you couldn't defend that move that they did. So they made you break that ankle, you feel me? So yes, I would rather get dunked on. Do you believe Lonzo will be will do good in the NBA? Yes, I really do believe Lonzo will do good in the NBA because he has like, he's literally a true point guard. And if you if you are a true point guard, then there's no way you can do bad in the NBA. You feel what I'm saying? Like his court vision is amazing. He can handle the ball and he's actually a pretty good shooter. Like I don't care what nobody say about his form. He's actually a pretty good shooter. So yes, I really do think he's gonna have a good career in the NBA. He's a true point guard and it, 
You can't deny that. You can't be a terrible true point guard. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, he's going to do good. Who is your favorite b-ball YouTuber? And who would you collab with? My favorite basketball YouTuber slash shoe reviewer is definitely Nightwing. Like, I've been watching Nightwing, like, forever. Like, senior year in high school, bro. I've, I've literally been watching Nightwing that long. Like, it's crazy. And it's, and it's like, I'm with Nightwing right now. So, man, I mean, he he really don't really know that. I ain't really came with him, like, be a big fan, boy. But, yes, I've been watching Nightwing forever. And it was like, bro, you know, that's why I got into, like, shoe reviews on YouTube because of Nightwing, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Nightwing's one of them. Kick Jeans is another one. They pretty good. Um, let me see. Who else? Basketball YouTuber. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Nightwing and Kick Jeans, man. They, they... They do, they do, they thug thizzle. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to follow them footsteps. Hopefully, I'm doing my thug thizzle. And the people I would like to collab with, I, I, Nightwing, <laughs> Kick Genius, some, some other off-brand YouTubers y'all probably don't know about. But right now, Nightwing collab with Kick Genius. I will collab with DC He. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I watch DC He too. Like that's one of my man's too. And uh, yeah, DC He. I want to collab with the Professor. I collab with Nightwing. I'll collab with. The whole wear tester team, I'ma collab with. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody, bro. I will collab with anybody for real. Real talk. Anybody. So, hey, if y'all watching this and y'all got a YouTube channel, y'all wanna collab with your boy, then hit me up, bro. I'm down. <laughs> My DM's about to go ham, bro. Ham. Am. I like the curry too. Should I cop for $35 at my outlet? Yes. The Curry 2 is awesome. If it's $35, you should definitely cop that bad boy. What's your basketball experience? For example, playing in high school, college, etc. cetera. Seventh, sixth grade, I made the team starting everything I was killing. Seventh grade, I should have made the team, but the way he had the tryout split up was weird, so I didn't make the team because that other person was with that group, if, if that makes sense. Eighth grade, I didn't make the team for I don't know for what. And then after the basketball season and, and it was getting close to summertime, that same coach picked me for summer league which is crazy, right? The summer team, he picked me for that. Yeah, big mistake. I played ninth grade, 10th, 11th, 12th, all the way up. And then I did play, I, I was on a college team, but I did not play one game because I ended up just like stopping. Don't ever quit. I did though. I don't know why, just don't ever quit. What music do you listen to and who's your favorite audience? I listen to everything from rap, rock, country, slow, jazz, brass, any kind of music that there is, I, I listen to it all. Like, I, I, don't, I don't discriminate. I like all type of music. And, you know, let's, I mean, all I could do is just my favorite artist. Let me, who's the last person I, 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 I bought? Let me see. Easy E. I got Easy E in here. That's the last thing I downloaded. I got David Guetta, whatever how you say his name, Meek Mill. I got um, <laughs> Jessica Simpson, <laughs> Calvin Harris. Star Lito, Ice Cube, 21 Savage, Jay-Z, T Grizzly, Michael Jackson, Florida Georgia Line, uh, Young Thug, True to Self, I said True to Self, Bryson Tiller, 2 Chains. I got um, Machine Gun Kelly. So yeah, I got a lot of people I listen to. I don't have a favorite artist, but I have a lot of people I listen to and I listen to everything. Do you think Reebok can come back and have good performance shoes for basketball? Anything is possible, baby. Anything is possible. Yes, I, I do think they can come back. They just need, you know, we just need to get people to get on Reebok. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, it's a name thing, so people really probably they probably got some shoes right now. That's dope. I haven't even tried any. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? But yes, if they need to come back, I think they can do it. How happy were you when you were a part of the wear testers? Boy, I can't even tell you how happy I was when I became. Like I said, I've been watching Nightwing for a long time when they was kicks on court, bruh. Like, I, I was like, I always wanted to be a wear tester or kicks on court, whatever, whichever one you prefer. Like, I always wanted to be a wear tester. Like, in the back of my mind, I was like, man, that is so dope. I would love to be a wear tester. Like, that is crazy. And, you know, when I had the opportunity to become one, I was just like, bro, like, I, I was shocked. I didn't know what to say. I was nervous. I don't know why I was nervous. I was just like, bro, that's crazy, fam. That's crazy. I'm a wear tester. That's, that's like a dream come true, like dead serious, that is a dream come true, like I am a wear tester. I was just happy, super duper happy, like bro, I could have I could have punched a hole in this brick wall. That's how happy I was. I'm a wear tester, baby! What's your all time starting five? I'm gonna go Shaq at the five, KG at the four, 
LeBron at the three, Jordan at the two, Kyrie at the one. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> Damage all day. But I'm gonna end the video right here. If I didn't make it to your question, it pr I promise I will get into it in the next video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you didn't, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces!